good always wins. The usher credited with saving lives during a shooting at an Antioch church speaks out for the first time. One week after the mass shooting, members of the Burnett Chapel Church of Christ came together for their first Sunday worship service. As our Alexander Cohen found out, people from all over the country filled the pews to show their support. With doors wide open, the Burnett Chapel Church of Christ held service today. One week after, they experienced a living hell. Being a Christian, it doesn't stop the nightmares. Last Sunday, a masked gunman, now identified as Emmanuel Sampson, shot and killed Melanie Crow Smith in the parking lot. Then, police say he entered the church and opened fire, injuring seven people. I just find it hard to hate him. Uh, I hate the climate that has caused him to do what he did. Minister Joey Spann was recovering from a gunshot wound until Wednesday when he was released from the hospital. We all need to feel love and, and loved, uh, and, and that's what was here today. After the worship service, we heard from Caleb Engel for the first time. We can definitely say God was with us last week. He was the usher who tackled Samson to the ground, injuring the suspect and himself. Then police say he ran to his car, grabbed his gun, and held the gunman at gunpoint until this sergeant made it to the scene. Good always wins. The community hailed him a hero, but Caleb doesn't think of himself that way. Everyone in this church is a hero. God was the most definitely the hero. <laughs> As this church begins to heal, we're going to be all right. They believe recovery starts by forgiving the man who caused them so much pain. There are repercussions to what he did. He needs to pay them. But our hope and prayer, just like Caleb said, is that Emmanuel will, uh, will come back to Christ. Pastor Joey Spann's wife, Peggy, remains hospitalized at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. The rest of the shooting victims are in stable condition or they have been released. Emily, back to you. Alexander, thank you. Emmanuel Sampson remains in jail and is charged with murder. Federal officials have opened a civil rights investigation into the shooting.